good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this, geographers, welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today, we're going to be going into Unit 6, Topic 3. We're going to be looking at cities and globalization. And before we get started, I want to just remind you to check to see if you're subscribed. It's free. You can always change your mind later. And by subscribing, you help support the channel, allow me to make more videos, and make sure you don't miss any future topic reviews. Now, throughout this course, we've talked about how the world has continued to become more connected. As technology advances, we can see how countries are impacted by globalization. One way in which we can see the impact of globalization is through world cities. World cities, or also known as global cities, are connected to large cities around the world. These cities influence not just the people living in them or the region they're located in, but the entire global community as a whole. Examples of world cities are New York, Paris, London, and Tokyo. These cities often end up being the center of culture. Here you'll find international organizations, governments, multinational companies, stock exchanges, diverse populations, entertainment industries, and the most recent cultural trends. We can see that these cities are linked together in a variety of different global networks. This can take the shape of communication, transportation, manufacturing, trade, banking, and more. These cities allow for information, goods and services, trends, food, and culture to diffuse globally around the world through hierarchical diffusion. Remember hierarchical diffusion all the way back to Unit 3, Topic 4? All of these concepts you learned throughout this class are now starting to come together and connect. If you need a refresher on hierarchical diffusion, go back and check out that video. World cities are often at the top of the urban hierarchy. Diffusion starts at a world city and slowly diffuses to the settlements that surround them. World cities are connected and influence each other's design and operations. These cities also collaborate to try and solve large-scale global problems. Today, if we were to look at a map that looked at air traffic or global trade, most likely it's going to all be centered around these different world cities, which shows just the power of these cities and how connected they are to our global community. Today, we talked about world cities and how globalization is influencing them and how that influences the surrounding settlements around them and how it changes the very fabric of our culture and leads to diffusion. Now comes the time to practice. Take a minute and answer the questions on the screen right now. And when you're done, don't forget to check your answers in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to consider subscribing. It's free. You can always change your mind later. And it's a great way to help support the channel and make sure you don't miss future topic review videos. Also, if you need some more help in your AP Human Geography class, don't forget to check out my ultimate review packet. It's free and it'll help you get an A in your class and also a five on that national exam. All right, geographers, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you online.